Welcome back to Forever. You can only play something in that gives you two play guarantee. That's right, Jeffy. I'm in my bedroom and I'm not even whacking it. You know, that's what I call self control. If you have no self control, Jeffy, uh, give me a call and we'll set it. Not on a Zoom call. We'll, we'll just do regular, we'll do regular old face call, you know? And I'll, I'll tell you all about self control. It's easy. It's easy peasy Japanese. So, what are we doing today? Uh, today, I bought this 50, 50 degree. Um, I bought this 50 degree sleeping bag at the, uh, at the Walmart. It's light. Um, it was cheap. It was like 16 bucks. But, to be perfectly frank, uh, and four of, it doesn't seem like this is a 50 degree bag. This seems like it's a like, hey, it's 70, I got a little chill. Let me, uh, let me bust out the sleeping bag. So, what I got here is a sleeping bag liner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mummify this. So I'm going to take all this down. <clears throat> and actually, this is where the seam is. So we're going to go just like so. I'm a little little uh yeah, that's probably a better angle yeah that's probably a better angle okay ow man not good for the old knees oh so what i did here is uh i took a sleeping bag liner this is just cheapest one i could find on amazon and uh turned it inside out now, my plan is, oh, dang it, that's all right, this is for my bob anyways, so it's not that big a deal. And we're going to take some of this fabric off, some of this material. Oh my goodness, I got a helper? Okay, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. You stink. There we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is sew all this up. And uh, then we're gonna cut off the excess, turn it back inside out. And, uh, we're going to stuff it in there see how she works. Why am I explaining this? I'm going to film it. Yeah, hey, here we are. Here we are. Now, we're going to take our sleeping bag liner here. Now, to tell the truth, I have a, um, a silk one, too. Now, you think, oh, that's all fancy pants for. What are you doing with a silk, silk sleeping bag liner? Is that lining in your Gucci bag? Well, no, it's not. It was cheap, too. Not all silk is made equal. Some of it is quite bad. So, let's, uh, let's get this uh, down here. Now, this is going to be the tricky bit here because I got a, an opening, so I'm going to have to kind of measure. Um, I say let's go with the other side first. Yeah, I see. Say go with the other. Oh, I got my, <laughs> I got my homie G on. Hold on, let me turn him off. Sorry about that. Uh, Fowler's Makery and Mischief is the channel. In case you're wondering, uh, yeah, shout out to him. He's 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 a big channel. He's got a million and a half subs, but uh, good stuff. He's very entertaining. Uh, I will give him that. He is very very entertaining. Okay, so we're going to get this side of the bag here, we're going to go to here, to the seam. 
Now all I'm going to do, because this is inside out, is I'm basically going to replicate this stitch. Hopefully you can see. Uh, it's like a surging stitch to keep things from falling apart, uh, fraying and whatnot. So I'm basically going to use the same thing and then cut that bit off. Uh, so here we go. Let's see. Uh, give me number. Give me number um, sixteen. There we go. Okay. Now, how much juice I got in there? We'll see. We'll see how much. How much? How much is left in that tank? She's looking a little low. Okay, this one I cannot go backwards on, so... Well, you get the idea. I'll, uh, I'll come back with you in a second. Okay, so what I did here is I changed up the stitch so I could have like a reverse stitch. And all I did was lock up these ends. Here and here. Locked up the, the ends. Now we'll give this a little tug. It looks like it's... Yeah, that's fine. That'll be alright. Just need a little tug there to get the... Oh, yeah, that's looking great. That's looking really, really good. Okay, we'll get to the other side now. This is going to be considerably more, so I'm going to get another another tank for the, the bottom. A little tricky, so I'll show you this. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's tough to get the fabric in there. And I switched up the stitch to something a little more reasonable. I think that other one was a little overkill, but... Um, this is pretty much it. And don't be intimidated by a sewing machine. If you can run a table saw or a jigsaw or anything like that and cut relatively straight, you, you'll have no problem with a sewing machine. And things like this, it's like, I think this one was like eight bucks. And, um, one of the fancy mummy style bag liner blah 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 ultralight blah 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 they were expensive wow. really expensive and i said that's kind of not so good you know so this is what you do especially if you want to gear and you say to yourself well i want to be safe out there and have ultralight gear you got to make compromises somewhere whether that be doing the work yourself, or buying a machine, or getting one secondhand used, blah, whatever. It doesn't matter. So wait this. Now, this is going to be a little on the tricky side. Because we got this coming up. Let's see how... That's pretty flat. I think we'll be alright with that. This is where things are going to get a little slippery, I think. Got to make sure this is 
all lying good, good and flat. We have to slide you back a little bit. Now, gonna make sure this is all nice and flat. Get this shoved through a little bit. Now, flat, flat, looks pretty good. Now I'm only going to about here, so about that mark. All right, the nitty gritty here. This is like it. Now, that's all good, that's all good. This I'm gonna have to get this all flattened out. Yeah, let's go in like this. I don't even know if that's really the proper length. Um, kind of isn't. Kind of like two. Let me remeasure. Okay, so seems like I kind of went off kilter here. I should have had the line going more like this. I think that'll be okay. So what I'm going to do is redraw the line here. Continue on as if that is the new line. And we'll just, we'll just pencil it in here. It'll be all right. Terrible line. Terrible line. That's okay. Okay. Back to the sewing machine. Okay, let's get this back on the machine. We're almost done here. This is really not too bad at all. Here we go. And I think we're going to go in like this anyways. That's what she said. So flatified. That's the technical term for it. Okay. There she is. That's it. Now we'll get to cutting. 
Okay, my son's up, so we'll see if we can get this done. Now, hopefully that foot box is large enough. It's looking a little... That eh, might be all right. I hope it's all right. Let me, t let me check that before I cut everything up. Because if I have to, I will modify it, that stitch. Ah, let's see. Let's see. Is the foot box... Ah. Too small. Ah. You know that's that's pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. Actually that's kind of nice. Like I would say that's a good size. I didn't really think about that, but it worked out. Oh, when you're doing this, remember, your body is three-dimensional. So give yourself enough room. But here we go. No turning bass keys now. Well, you know, I should. Yeah, I will, but... Uh, Yeah, we'll do something there too. Okay. Oh, you know what? Damn it. stupid of me. I have pinking shears. Hopefully there's enough room here to pink that end. Wasn't even thinking. Now I don't know what kind of witchcraftery is these shears, but for some reason, you use these things, and nothing uh, unf unfurls. It doesn't fray apart. Weird, huh? This will be okay. Yeah, I gotta finish up. All right, I'll stop there. This is something we can take off. So let's take this off so we're not fighting this. That's great. That side's good. Now, I'm going to have to do some stuff. Now, of course, I'm going to take this out, test her out, see, uh, 
see how cold it actually is. But, where are we? Now, this. doing now is a surging stitch so this way yeah, that should be good Bless you. Okay, we should be all right now. Oh, oh, oops, a daisy, no big deal. Half of, that's half a flat bottom bag right there. I think that looks pretty good. Huh? Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna throw it. Let me get my sleeping bag back. Give me this. Give me this. You've ruined enough of them. That was my. My dog, my dog. Now, does this have dual zipper? Nice. Thank you. Oh, the zipper stinks. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. That's me. Right? Yeah, that's me. It's not so bad. Okay. We're going to wash this anyways, but let's get it. Let's get it tested out here. Oh yeah, this is looking good. Oh yeah. Well, 
Let's see here. Let's let's give her the old. Oh, did I turn it inside out? Did I turn it regular? I did not. I did not turn it regular. Hold on. Let's turn it regular. Now, not not only does it look a thousand times better. All that stuff is on the inside now. Sure, it'll feel better too. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That one, one side not being pinked. Um, well, we'll give it a. We'll see what happens. No touch. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is inside out too. So this means this is upside down. There we go. Now we'll get it, we'll get it in there. Just so. Uh, wait, no, that was the right way. Dang it. Uh, well, wait a second. Well, screw that. Yeah, screw that. Turn it like this. And then turn that like, hold on. Like this. Wait, it's got to be inside out? Oh, man, it's got to be inside out? Wait, no, hold on. Okay, alright. Now we're cooking with Crisco. Wow. in like that you know as much as I hate it I gotta get in from the right side but that's okay all right let's give her a shot oh I, I spent so much time in the woods I'm so tired let's lay down for a short spell Oh, yeah. This will work for sure. Oh, there ain't much padding there, but... Ah, oh, that's warm. That is very, very warm. That's not bad, actually. You you throw that uh, silk, silk liner in there and... Uh, oh, yeah. Stuff a wooby blanket in there too. That'd probably be good for down low. Thank you for the help. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the help. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh whoo! Oh, that turned out to be a 20 what? 28 minutes? Good lord, my videos are not short. Anyways. That's how you turn an Ozark Trail sleeping bag, $16 sleeping bag, into something that's worth taking. Uh, or you could probably just spend 30 bucks on a uh, halfway decent one. Choice is yours. Have a great day!